When our son began swimming lessons, we bought him a pair of trunks, but they, they're from Primark and they are almost, they, they just uh, disappearing by the day. So I want to recreate some. They came in a pack of two, but the other ones are useless as well. And I, we got him this little cup, swimming cup, which is ideal because it's not like the plastic ones. I remember I used to have, they, they still exist, but I used to wear these plastic ones and getting your hair in there was a mess and so painful. So I really like this one and I want to recreate them. So today we're cloning clothes. Cloning is ideal for people who are starting to sew because you just have to trace around the garment you love and then sew it again. So it's really good. It's really good to practice or just to simply make some more of what you need. So it's quite useful as well. Let me know down in the comments if you've cloned clothes before or if you haven't heard of it and you are willing to do it. So I'm going to start by tracing my little trunks, which I just realized haven't got any side seam. So I'm going to fold them and then uh, trace around them. And you can do this with your paper folded and that way you, when you open it, you have both sides as well. And now my little cup, which has two semicircles and then a middle panel in between, which doesn't measure just the same and it's going to be a pain to trace, I'm sure. So I'm going to measure it. I'm going to measure how long it is, which is 36 centimeters. And then in different points, I'm going to measure the width. It has different width in the front and back. Uh, the front is almost four centimeters and the back or nine. So then if I have different measurements, I can trace the pattern. And with my patterns cut, I'm going to cut the fabric and I'm going to cut two for the little trunks and then for the cup, one for the middle bit and two for each side, or I mean one for each side of the head. When cutting the fabric, I took into account that the seams don't need to that much seam allowance because this is a stretchy material. So I didn't leave that much on the sides, well, front and back or a cross, but I did leave a lot, uh, well, not a lot, but enough to hem it and to do the waist with the elastic band in there. So I'm going to start by sewing them right sides together by the front unboxing. 
I'm going to use a green polyester thread. I have and I haven't got a straight needle because my machine skips stitches, so I'm going to sew it with a normal needle, not even a different uh, foot press. And then I'm going to use not the zigzag stitch because my machine skips stitches, and but the next one, the one that is like a zigzag but uh, in parts, because if it skips one of those, it doesn't matter. But if it skips one of the zigzag stitches, you get these straight stitches, so it's not nice. and then open it and sew the crotch. And now that I'm still sewing, I'm going to just go ahead and hem it, not with a double hem because these materials don't uh, fray, so just folding once and zigzag stitching all around. And then for my elastic band, I have this one here and I'm going to measure just so it measures the same and I haven't got any problems and he's comfortable. And then once I cut it, I'm going to secure it with a zigzag stitch. And now for the waistband, I'm going to just fold and put it a bit inside so he's comfortable and it doesn't itch. So these are the little trunks, they look really cute and fruity and I hope he likes them. They look a little bit like half a centimeter shorter on the waistline but I don't think it really matters. A bit, let's see, yes, only just a little bit, a tiny bit, but well, I hope he likes them. And now with the cup. So I think you can see it better like this with the paper instead of with the fabric right now. So uh, to know where the middle bit is, I'm going to just fold my fabric, make sure where the middle is, and then do the same with the semicircles so it is straight. And then I'm going to start pinning from there right sides together. And with this on, what I have left to do is to add the elastic band, the same way I did with the trousers, measuring how much I need for the head as well. And I'm ready, this is my little cup and trunks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you found it useful, if you've done it, if you haven't, this is ideal to give as a present, to make for all your little nephews. And it's ideal as well to make the most out of our fabric. When I got this fabric for a swimming costume for myself, for a bikini last year, I got too much. So I have a lot left, I still have some left. So it's ideal to use all those lycras we have 
and make some little costumes. And don't forget to subscribe if you found this useful, if you like this kind of content, and I'll leave you a link to all the stretchy things I've sewn so you get some ideas. And I'll see you next week. Bye.